If there's someone that's very, very young, goes into a marriage, has kids when they're like 18, 19, 20, a year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think, it is. Uh, oh. if it would happen, what would you recommend for those people? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. That's not a real thing. Even Hold up. Divorce is not real, but a marriage can be dissolved if it is not sacramental. Read these articles if you want to know what makes a marriage sacramental or how a marriage can be dissolved. You can't divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive. You, you gotta endure. People are too much. For situation. anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, endure. endure. No, don't put up with domestic abuse. I'm not saying to give up on the first mistake, but after there's been repeated failed attempts to resolve this behavior, you can get civilly divorced in a sacramental marriage. You're still married in the church. What God has joined together cannot be separated, and remarrying would be adultery, but you don't have to live together at all. The church tolerates civil divorce for just cause, like personal safety or for the safety of the children. It's right there on catholic.com what about if two people Sorry. get married Sorry. to have a kid and then the wife starts cheating do you think they should divorce Absolutely. Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is so you think that Jesus didn't say that. That's a non-Catholic interpretation of the Bible. Especially because God's forgiveness is infinite. And aren't we supposed to be godly in marriage? Sounds hard, but it's true. Now, if there's repeated cheating or repeated abuse, there is a chance that an annulment can be granted. That's not a Catholic divorce. That's the church analyzing a marriage and determining if it was sacramental in the first place. Because it doesn't make sense for, say, a God-fearing man who is marrying to serve God to later be abusing his wife or cheating on her. No, that man probably did not mean the wedding vows he said. Which, if that's the case, that would mean God never joined him to that woman. Okay, well, what if the church doesn't grant an annulment? Then you rewatch this video because I already gave that answer.